First of all, we will discuss about the concept of population improvement. What is Mendelian population? According to Dobzhansky 1950, a Mendelian population has three main characters, open cross-pollination, open gene flow and random mating. Now, what is the main objective of plant breeding? The main objective of plant breeding is population improvement. For this purpose, frequency of beneficial and adapted genes is to be increased in population. Now, what is the genetic basis of population improvement? There are two main methods of population improvement recombination and selection. Recombination produces genetic variability. This is the natural product of cross-pollination. And selection works on genetic variability. Population improvement is based upon the use of additive gene effects. By continuous accumulation of these effects, population get improved. Population improvement depends on many factors. The process of population improvement is more easy and simple as compared to hybrid breeding. Next factor is number of generations per selection cycle. The speed of improvement shows inverse relation with number of generations. Less number of generations take less time for improvement while more number of generations take more time for improvement. Next factor is selection availability. It is denoted by the following formula. Gs is equal to k under root vph. Here k is selection differential, vp is phenotypic variance and h is heritability. Next factor is reduction of variability. During the process of selection, genetic variability of population get reduced per selection cycle. More reduction means fast improvement in less number of selection cycles. Less reduction means slow improvement in more number of selection cycles. Next factor is improvement in many characters. During population improvement, many desired characters are improved simultaneously, so that improvement of one character must not affect the improvement of another character. Next factor is objective of improvement. Selection of improvement method depends on the objective of improvement. Next we will discuss about the modes of selection. There are two types of methods used for population improvement, mass selection and recurrent selection. Mass selection has four modifications. Stratified selection or subplot system, ear to row selection, modified ear to row selection, modified disruptive selection or convergence divergence selection. First of all, we will discuss about the stratified selection. There are two reasons of failure of mass selection effect of environment on selected parent plants and no control on pollen source. Gardner in 1961 gives two suggestions to solve this problem. Population must be grown in isolation so that pollen source can be controlled. Application of grading mass selection so that effect of environment can be reduced. During the process of grading, care must be taken that there must not be any type of soil heterogeneity or other environmental heterogeneity. 
as shown in the diagram there are nine subplots or grids in a plot in each subplot plant density is low from each subplot equal number of plants are selected now mix up the seeds of all the selected plants and divide into three parts seeds of first part are used to grow next year in isolation seeds of second part are used to grow for evaluation and seeds of third part are kept safe for future use second modification is year to row selection it is also called as half sib family selection this method was developed by hopkins in 1908 this method is commonly used for maize crop in this modification individual plant progenies are developed for two generations and then seeds of selected plants are mixed up as a mass third is modified year to row selection this modification was developed by lonquist in 1964 in this method performance of selected progeny plants is evaluated at many points and then plants are selected upon the basis of average performance of all the points next is modified disruptive selection this modification was developed by lonquist in 1972 as shown in the diagram take five parts of equal number of seeds from parent population and grow at five different places or environments this is called divergence now select superior plants at each place and their seeds are collected next year take equal amount of seeds from five places and grow them in a crossed plot this is called convergence allow open pollination and collect their seeds now take five parts of equal number of seeds from crossed plot and grow at five different places or environments this is called divergence now select superior plants at each place and their seeds are collected next year take equal amount of seeds from five places and grow them as a improved population this is called convergence allow open pollination collect seeds as a mass this is called improved seed mass next we will discuss about the recurrent selection in this method crosses are allowed in all possible combinations replicated yield trials are performed repeated selections are carried out this method is a modification of ear to row method in this method inbreds are separated from source population there are four types of recurrent selection simple for gca for sca and reciprocal